I'm telling you, the time that you took that you choose to hold it, it ain't gonna, it ain't coming back. <laughs> that sucks. It ain't coming back. Like a pro, like a pro. Yeah, I'm trading like a pro, like a pro, like a pro. Taking profit like a pro, like a pro. Time to let them know. Bank on the phone, no, I don't need a loan, cause I'm trading like a pro. We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh? Stacking that money, stacking that money from the trades, huh? They're always going to be showing you trades like this. Let me see. That's a short. Every time you see people be showing a stuff, whether whatever video you watch, whatever platform you're on, Instagram, social media, whatever, it's always big, big chops like this, man. Most of the time, every time I look around, they'd be like, yeah, look at my trade I took. And it's like just this big, massive three to one trade. You know? And that's just, I mean, it's possible for sure. But that's not, that's, that didn't, they make it feel like, or it seems like it's like, man, that was a morning, that was a morning's day of trading. You know, this, this was a morning's day worth of trading. And it's, bro, that is not typical for, the average person, bro. Real talk. You can do it. You ain't going to get this every morning, every time you open your, your computer to trade. But you know how, how long that is. And a lot of times they ain't going to, they not going to even be this smooth. The typical day is not going to be this smooth, bro. Especially trading GU, bro. That is, it ain't even really worth it. You got to be knowing that you in the beginning of the move, bro. Cause you, we be getting in on these little pullbacks and they can go all the way back up and then come back down. They just back and forth all day long. All right. So that's just not typical for the average trader. And I just want to be real with people on here, especially the new, new people on here. You know, it's just not going to be picture perfect like this. They, they show you that one, but they don't show you the struggles that they had before they got to this one. Real talk. It'd be like a little win, a little win. A little win, a, a, a struggle, like you barely won or you 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 broke even, and then and then a big win happens. And then a big hit win happens. And then you back to that little win, little win, little win. Then then five, you know, you may even take a loss and then a big one happens, bro. It's like that's that's reality. Or or yeah, or a big loss. Yeah, or a big loss. Yeah. So um, Fatima, did you have any questions or no? Are you good? Because oh, I, I see you. Um, I was I was doing good. Then I took a big loss, and I haven't been able to get my mojo back. It's tough. I know the feeling, especially when you've been winning, 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 and then you do some little slip up. You do some little slip up where um, you know, you held the trade too long, or you know what, you you rushed into that entry too too early, and it literally just went against you instantly. Like something like this. Hey, I'm going to take a sale. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and, um, I, you know what? I think I'm going to take a buy here. You know, I think I'm going to take a buy here. Boom. You get in instantly going the other way and it never came back. And you have a decision to make for Tima. You have a decision to make. Am I going to, am I going to, uh, you know what? Go ahead and, and, and clear my mind and take this loss now. Or am I going to hold it hoping that it comes back? Because usually it does come back. I'm telling you, the time that you that you choose to hold it, it ain't um, it ain't coming back. <laughs> that sucks. It ain't coming back. And so, you know, I've been there before. Trust me. It ain't coming back. That's when I be that's when I become a swing trader. <laughs> Denver said that's when I switch into swing trading. Oh my God. Hopefully the last size you took was was a swing trade last size too. Man, you you be I swear you would think the market is against you the whole time you in there. They like, oh, they see me in here. They're gonna they gonna keep dropping until I get out. As soon as I get out, they gonna it's gonna come back. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, the markets ain't looking at your little, the, the little money. I'm telling you, our little money ain't nothing. This the, the same drop is happening on all platforms. 
trading view. Every broker has got the same drop. They all not, they all didn't, they all didn't call each other and say, hey, we got this person in here. Let's all, let's all drop it. I'm telling you, that ain't the case. It was just a bad move on your end. All right. So before I before I switch gears, uh, Fatima, I'm just want to tell you that when this thing drops against you, that's why we have these certain gauges. OK, you, you wanted to buy it because it was above the cloud. OK, cool. But it, the next thing you know, it closes below the cloud. Close, close the trade, Fatima. Close the trade. Cut. That's what that's how we cut losses short. Oh, you don't want a little a red stain on your blue profits for the week? You don't want that? You don't want a red stain? Okay, then you didn't want that little red uh, profit loss? Guess what? Now all the wins you made for the week is gone because you didn't want to settle for that little cut that loss short. You didn't want to you don't you didn't want to settle. You could have had a quick a quick little loss, re- gathered your mind, next day came back even better, but now all the wins for the week is gone now. I'm telling you, this junk hard as heck, man. When you like mentally, because we be thinking weird, like, no, I got to keep my win streak on you gambling. You gambling now. But I know, I know, I know you because we want to. It's like, man, I work so hard and, and we we become like like proud of what we did and it's something to be proud about but i'm telling you cut the law short it is not gonna hurt you i promise you you're gonna feel good once you out of that trade and then to see that it keeps going down you're gonna be happy i'm telling you but while you while you see it happening and you see it going against you you don't feel happy but trust me when you close that trade out cut it loss you will be happy We look at one trade after another instead of overall growth. I'm telling you, man. I used to hold them losses too long. Forget that junk, Christine said. Listen to her, Fatima. I didn't didn't held them things for days, hoping that it came back. I'm still waiting for it to come back. It never came back. Man, I'm telling you, skip that, man. Cut the loss short, clear your mind. Come either either stick with the trade for later on that day and see what happens or just come back the next day. I'm telling you, that's how you're going to survive.